Judging by the smell, this was used to transport cookies and lollipops. Time waits for no man, not even in Trevorbrook. I discovered a modern telecommunication system further uptown. This might be important to anybody wondering if the world is still turning at the end of the line. Danger, high voltage. This old generator is running at maximum strength. It's even sending out sparks. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Please don't ask. I can't even savor my cognac as long as this terrible table keeps on wobbling. Actually, it's quite a nice table. Be careful. The table is wobbling terribly. You better keep your distance. This table has a horrible wobble. Actually, it's quite a nice table. Big. This table. This table. It has a wobble. Everything's going down the drain around here. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. You've got yourself a nice spot here. It's heartbreaking to see the town in decline like this. Everything's going... Small ads, postings, announcements. They're holding a town fair tonight with a band and a raffle. Exciting.
today's menu, nothing. Science fiction, something involving spaceships. This can must have fallen off the table. Modern cuisine, a lump of minced meat in the shape of a hedgehog, garnished with spike resembling breadsticks, toast Hawaii, cheese skewers, Looks a bit shabby. I don't want to take this with me. If anywhere, it belongs in the trash. But I love cheese skewers. I don't want to take this... Note to self, the buffet in this guest house is an obvious case for the public health department. A dim oil painting showing a couple of withering roses in a vase. Some of the varnish is starting to come off. How poetic. Hmm. There's something funny about that clock. Please don't stand there. Excuse me, didn't mean to. What's that you're watching? Never seen a TV before? Coming up next, a new episode of Rocket Ship Andromeda. Uh... Have you been living under a rock? With a TV set, you can take journeys to other worlds. Now that I think of it, I have never seen you here before. Are you from another world as well? Depends on how you look at it. My name is Hans. I just arrived from Berlin. Hey Hans, I'm Leni. My mom owns the place. 70,000 light years from home, the rocket ship has stranded in star system Omega-3. Is Berlin also in star system Omega-3? Close. Omega-4. That's right next to it. So, you know the place? You bet I do. Star Cybernetation Commander Aurora is searching for a way back home. And what do you do for a living? Are you a famous cybernetician too? I'm a quantum physicist. Quantum what? Anyways, I'm going to be a star cybernetician. Only Commander Aurora can disintegrate the even Rulands into thin air with her space beams. So, do you Bellinellians have any special powers? Can you make things disappear? I can make incredible amounts of candy disappear. <laughs> I can do that too. Stay tuned, folks. We will be right back after a few consumer-oriented product endorsements. My uncle knew how to make things disappear as well. I also know where, but I mustn't tell anyone on Earth. Your uncle was a wizard? Wizards? They aren't even real. So, what do I have to do to make you tell me? Hmm, there's only one thing I can think of. Can you prove you're not an Earthling? I'll think of something. She seems very focused. Look, 
This is the star log I'm using to stay in contact with my home planet. Just met human child Lenny, keeper of a cosmic secret. Awesome. This is a star log for real? May I please? My pleasure. This is Lenny of Planet Earth speaking. My uncle has a secret stash hidden under a loose plank in room 3. Room 3? That happens to be my room. Room 3 used to be where my uncle Heinz lived. And where is your uncle now? My mom says he is now living on planet No Good. I need to know what happens next. I need to know what... Locked. Hmm. Now where would this lead to? She's the landlady here. Precisely. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. This establishment you call your own has quite the charm. A family business for more than 75 years. Actually, I took over the guest house together with my brother. But now it's just me and my little daughter. Your daughter really likes watching TV, huh? You see, the kid is always in front of the box. She's got her mind set on extraterrestrials and alien worlds. Nonsense, don't you think? Being the only guest, I was wondering, how's the season going so far? Season? We haven't had one in ages. So what happened to your brother? The only interest that scoundrel had was in his bottles. In the end, that good-for-nothing took a half too much of his bolts and shoes and just made off. That door over there hasn't been opened in a while, has it? That's the door to the cellar, where my brother built his little lair. No one has taken any interest in that door since he left. He just took the key with him. Anything else I can do for you? Can you tell me something about the old cable car? The cable car leads up to the old mine. It used to belong to the Baron von Sülz. Then this company from overseas forced him to sell it. Who exactly is this Baron von Sülz? Baron von Sülz used to run the mine, a philanthropist and patron of the arts. His wife was a flamboyant Baroness von Sülz. You must have heard of her. Anyway, when the company took over the mine, the Baroness dropped him as well and left the Baron behind. A broken man. Now his cat is his only remaining pleasure. What were they mining for? Do you know? An old silver mine. So nothing a um, quantum physicist would be interested in. It's been a few years, back in the days, when there was enough work for everyone. Then this company took over the mine only to shut it down immediately. So why did they shut down the mine? There is talk and rumors all over the town. Allegedly, people started disappearing without a trace. Tourists, poor laborers without families, the odd stranger. Some folks were also talking about toxic residues in the air and the water. But nobody knows anything with certainty. If you ask me, I'm just glad the whole affair has come to an end. All those rumors have kept spa guests away for years, as you can see for yourself. What about this mysterious company you were talking of? They are called Millennium Cooperative or something like that. A very dubious corporation. They have connections to the top, if you know what I mean. Way up to the highest circles of power. What became of the people working the mine? More and more outsiders came to town. Nobody knows what they were actually doing in the mines. 
Some went missing, some went crazy. Who can tell? At one point, they even bought the old sanitarium in order to provide housing for their workers. That was before the mine shut down, of course. Would you wrap up the whole story in detail for me again? The cable car leads up to the old mine. It used to belong to the Baron von Sülz. Then this company from overseas forced him to sell it. They are called Millennium Cooperative or something like that. A very dubious corporation. I've heard enough. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? I'd like to report a theft. There was an uninvited guest in my room last night. In our house? Oh dear, I'm so very sorry. Let me call the police immediately. Thanks. I will keep you informed. Truda, would you pour me one of your Pilsner beers, please? Just a second, Professor. Here, a coaster. There you go. Cheers! Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. By the way, the buffet is open. Please help yourself. I don't want to take this with me. Before you even know, the world lies in ruins. I hope this isn't a bad omen. This muddle of spots and drips is probably telling more about the room's many previous occupants than I'd wish to know. There really is a hidden stash below. Maybe somebody hid their money in there. Supplemental. I'm afraid the condition of my room is far below expected. At least it seems the burglar didn't rummage through the cabinet. Just a hanger. I don't want to cover up these people's works of art. In my old flat share, we used to throw the trash out of the window. I promise not to do that anymore.
The antenna provides TV reception for the guest house. Creepy. Some kind of a must be a local. I'm not tired. I would probably hurt myself. There's something lying on the floor. It's a massage rod. Somebody must have misplaced it. I don't want to mess up the... Loads of useless junk and an almost empty bottle of schnapps. I'll only take the schnapps. Bolts and shoes. I need to know what happens next.
What's this? The table stopped wobbling? Oh, thank you so very much. I was hardly able to focus on anything else but this cursed wobblery. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Could you tell me something about the cable car? Uh, don't bring up the old cable car. I don't even want to think about it. Are you feeling any better, now that the table isn't wobbling anymore? Thank you for asking. But joy? What does it even mean? My life lost most of its joy since Klaus disappeared. Who is Klaus? Klaus is my tomcat, an angel of an animal. He was the only one to always remain by my side. But now, he's vanished without a trace. Everything in this world is going down the drain. Mark my words. Was Claus abducted? I don't know. Claus was always faithful and stood by my side. Then he just disappeared without a trace. You can't rely on anything in this world anymore. Let me tell you. It's just awful. Please excuse me. A hanger is dangling from the clothesline. Marvelous engineering. There's a clothesline up there, right under my window. The time-traveling machine. Complete nonsense. hiking map of the region. The upper section is... Oh my. It looks desperate. We know well enough that cats like to climb. Unfortunately, their bodies seem to be designed for climbing upwards only. Anyway, Beverly, I've spotted a gigantic red tabby in a tree, which, on closer inspection, could in fact also be more like a fox. Assistance may be required. I'll just try luring the cat down with a mating call. Meow. Meow. Hmm. No reaction. A beautiful, healthy tree. Arcosoidu platinus, the sycamore maple. It won't be this easy getting close to it.
I can't get close enough. I can't get close enough. I can't get close. Oh, my. Its heydays are over. That's some sturdy, full-grown reed. Nine lives or not, I don't think it would survive that drop. stop. My gateway, there's a regular bus on Saturday, every other week. Paddleboat rental. One. This bucket seems to have been hung here for purely decorative reasons. I don't want to cover up these people's works. Hilarius the Unready, Margrave of Tribber Brook. Conqueror of the Dragon, mm -hmm. Savior of Tribber Brook, yep. In the year of our Lord, 1250. Morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. Have you talked to the police yet? I gave the officer an outline of the crime. It's only going to be a matter of hours before someone will attend to the issue. What do you mean, a matter of hours? The police station is right next town. But as you know, that's quite the distance. We have to be patient. As soon as the inspector has solved his current case, he will start working on yours straight away. Keep me up to date. I will let you know if there are any new developments. I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. Now look at all these fishing rods. Quite the collection. 
You can borrow one if you like, but only in exchange for a pawn. They have a tendency to get lost otherwise. Pawn? You mean deposit? Would this be an adequate deposit for the fishing rod? I'm afraid not. It should be something that attracts attention, but has no real importance. Something you can do without while you are on fishing tour. Oh, thanks. For me? Does this device suffice as a deposit in exchange for the fishing rod? Uh, yes. Feel free to leave it here. Yes, that sounds like a good deal. Just be sure to bring it back, will you? Nine lives or not. It won't be this easy. Good idea. I only need some bait. Subject, species reintroduction. Although I can't return the tuna to the wild as long as it's in the can. Good idea. I only... Good idea. I only need some bait. Subject.
nine lives or not. Oh my, it looks desperate. A beautiful Akas. A beautiful Akas. Potable rental. Oh, my. Nine lives or not. Soft as a feather. I put a nice fluffy blanket over the top of that rowboat. You like this, don't you?
Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Any news about Claws? Nothing. Please excuse me. A beautiful locker so Small hands, they're whole exciting. Actually, it's quite a nice table. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. You've got yourself a nice spot here. The name is Baron Otto Titan from Trevor Brookstones. Tannhauser, pleased to meet you. Please, come over. Don't waste the opportunity to put up with the company of a lonely, broken old man. Are you from around these parts? You may very well say so. I put all my life's work into the well-being and prosperity of Trubabrook. I once was the owner of both, the mines and the cable car. That's all history now. Do you have any friends or family? My spouse left me for good, and my beloved Trubabrook is slowly going down the drain. Only Claus remained loyal to me all these years. Alas, now even he has disappeared. 
Do you have any friends or- My sp- Oh, alas! What kind of a strange place is this? Well, you should know. This used to be one of the most beautiful spots on the face of the planet. The fair and the fortunate came here for treatment. Travelers and tourists of all fashion. Citizens that weren't occupied in the tourism business found work in the mines. But it's all over now. Do you still have the key to the old cable car, by any chance? Please excuse me, but I need to be on my own now. I need some rest to mourn for Claude. Any news about Claws? Nothing. Please excuse me. I've already supplemental. Maybe somebody hid their money in there. Before you even, I hope this isn't. Please ring bell for service. We only serve small pot. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. Is there not a single policeman in this godforsaken hole? Godforsaken? Be careful what you say. The inspector is in charge of the whole county. And it has been 15 years since something happened in Trüberbrook. A dog had run off, if I remember correctly. Would you like to hear the story? Uh, not really. Just keep me informed, please. Of course, Mr. Tenhauser. About the cable car? Sure. What else do you want to know? Do you have an idea what became of the Baron's cat? After he had lost the mine, the cable car, and his wife, all that remained was a kitten. If you ask me, it was probably a bit too much for the poor creature. I've heard enough. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser.
nowhere to run from here, kitty. Oh, I think he passed out. Now I've got you. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Please excuse me. Is this by chance your cat, Claus? Oh, my beloved Claus. Where have you been? You look exhausted, old friend. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. So what's with the cable car? I used to own the cable car. In fact, uh, the whole mine. Everything was taken away from me. Those maniacs destroyed everything. The cable car, the mine, uh, the whole village. Please, go on. More and more outsiders came to town. What they were actually up to in the mine, no one knows for certain. But after a few years of quick profits, they shut down the place and closed the cable car all together in one go. Just think of it. This was my life's work. They closed down the mines, drove away the people and turned a once flourishing community into a ghost town. Who are these maniacs you're referring to? The Millennium Cooperative, a multinational conglomerate of enterprises. Ruthless and unscrupulous. They leave us little family businesses with next to nothing. What do you mean they destroyed everything? First, they stripped me of the mine. Then, more and more dubious eggheads and foreign workers started pouring into town, driving visitors away with the gigantic machines. You ran a mining business? Well, 